Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to get out of this place. Yeah, we've been here long enough. What do you say there, son? You say good morning and we've been here long enough or what? Yeah. Yeah, no good morning though? Good morning. Yeah, there you go. I'm just sleepy. You're just sleepy, okay. Wow. It's another beautiful day out here, that's a fact. Nice and sunny. Hardly any wind whatsoever. In 300 I bet feet, it's going to be right another hot day though. Road, and then turn right in 850 feet. Way station ahead. Way station ahead, right away, eh? Wow, yeah, I remember that. There's a way station only about a mile and a half down the road as soon as we get on the interstate. But that's the way it is. We had us a good uh, meeting uh, or uh, meet up with uh, Terry last In night. In feet, turn right on Cherry Blossom Way, <laughs> K1620, and then take the entrance to the right in 550 feet. Why I called him Don at one point? I, I don't know. I had that name in my, <laughs> in my head, I guess, and I called him Don at one point, but hey. We all make mistakes. <laughs> what? I knew very well it was his name was Terry. <laughs> but yeah. So let's get back on the interstate and see what the coop has to say today. Alrighty, let's see if our chicken house will be open today. It doesn't appear to be. No, it says closed up there, so that's fantastic news. Very much so. We got us uh, 322 miles to go up to the border, so uh, a little over five hours, maybe five and a half hours drive to the border. So we continue cruising right along here. We don't actually have to take our half an hour break today. So that would be awesome, because as soon as we enter Canada, we're no longer required to take that. So that's awesome. Looks like if it's gonna be nice and calm like this today, we're gonna to do super good on fuel mileage because uh, the less wind, there, wind resistance there is, the better we do on fuel. That's just a fact. Yeah, a little gorgeous areas up here still. Nice and hilly. Beautiful to look at. Nice and green. It's been a nice wet, uh, summer this year so far I remember years uh, before you know like it sometimes it would get really dry in summer and you would see all the trees and everything start to look ugly and dry and all that stuff and that didn't look as good but now we got nice green trees and just beautiful nice green grass and everything just absolutely gorgeous this year but anyways, we gotta get down to Master Steak. What do you say there, son? You ready for some Master Steak? Uh, yeah? We're not gonna eat too much throughout the day, right? We're gonna get real hungry for Master Steak, right? I think so. I'm ready for it. <laughs> we still haven't gotten no reload yet, so... I'm kinda doubting if we will get a load for tomorrow. I will be in Toronto tonight, but I made myself available for tomorrow morning so we can have a good night off there and get some good steak and all that. Have, have a little time off over there. And then uh, trying to leave tomorrow morning because I don't have a whole lot of hours. Anyways, by the time I get to Toronto, so... So I figured, you know what, let's just go tomorrow. So I don't know, we'll see if they'll give us anything. Uh, if we have to take a reset there, that's fine too with me. Yeah, we'll just have to go to Master Steak a bit more often, but hey, <laughs> we won't complain about that, will we? No, no I don't think so either. So that's
let's get on down the road and let's make it over to Master Steak. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to make a pit stop. Yes, indeed it is. North Baltimore, I think they call it up here. Yeah, we're going to go up to this Petro truck stop up here. Yes, indeed we are. I have been here multiple times at this truck stop. It is a very big truck stop. Yes, indeed it is. Got a smoky bear up here with a four-wheeler pulled over. And guess what else happened here at this truck stop? You want to take a good guess? You met Chipper Box? No? 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 Construction Nothing ahead. happened? Any other guesses? Uh, Not really? No. Okay. Well, what else happened up here is uh, I got my trucker Rudy hat made up here. Yeah. That's right. Got our trucker Rudy hat made up here. This is where it gets done. Yep, and then uh, later on I come to find out the hat that I got, that I liked. They no longer have those hats anymore. So, I never got any hats made anymore after that. So that was a limited time edition hat. But the guy, one guy won that hat did a giveaway on that hat that's what happened but anyways we're gonna go inside of here and see what happens from there it is that time where we have to go back into Canada ladies and gentlemen we are just taking the ramp right now on to the ambassador bridge yep. as soon as we are in the middle of that bridge we will be back in Canada now, although we still need to go see customs but uh, hey a gorgeous day out here forget I would show you the ambassador bridge again I'm sure a lot of you like to see that especially the ones that are new to my channel yeah Looks like they are trying to fix this bridge again. It looks like they're patching it up constantly. It's starting to get a little old already. But this bridge has been in business for many, many years. Oh, look at the ship. There's a ship. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're on the shore there. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Looks like there's some over there as well. Yeah. The water is really nice and good. Just a hack. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice, yeah. But anyways, here we are entering Canada as of right now. Yes, indeed. So, on this side of the river is Canadian side. <laughs> Crossing border, entering yeah. Ontario. Yeah. So, now we are in Ontario. So we'll go see customs as soon as we are through that. And uh, we are clear to go to Toronto. Welcome back to Canada, ladies and gentlemen. We are back in Canada. Oh, yeah. We love it, eh? Speed oh, yeah. It's kind of hot out here and all that good stuff, but hey. It was hot there in Georgia too, so no difference, right? <laughs> yeah, this is all a brand new highway here, so RJ is still a little confused on exactly where we're going, but hey, that's all right. Looks a little kind of dark there up ahead of us there, eh? Might be getting some rain up there, maybe. But we got about four hours to Toronto now. So, uh, we'll put the hammer down to Toronto and where we're going after that, we have no idea. Master. We're going to Master. Stick. There 
you go. <laughs> That's right. We're going to Master Steak after we get to Toronto. Proceed to the highlighted route. That's the plan anyways. Saturday night. Yeah. We're going to be doing a reset tomorrow, so... So, we'll have some fun over there. We're not going to tell you what we're up to tomorrow. Because we don't want to spoil the surprise, right? Yeah. But we're going to... We have some plans for tomorrow already. Some yes, good ones. indeed. Yeah, we do, yeah. We sure do. That's all right. You'll get to see it tomorrow. Turn left and then turn yeah, left. Yeah, RJ don't know meters. where the heck we're driving. <laughs> yeah, it was easy border crossing today. Speed warning. Yep, it's saying speed warning because it thinks we're on the back road somewhere. <laughs> proceed to the highlighted route. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, proceed to the highlighted route. <laughs> But yeah, this time we didn't have to wait for our border uh, paperwork to be cleared because we have a different type of load this time and we don't need to fax any paperwork to the dispatcher and all that good stuff. We just Speed warning. go straight to the border and uh, we have a load that's called a fast load. So all we do is we have to show them a, a card that we get from Penner's that, you know, it's laminated. It's got some barcodes on it. So all we got to show them and tell them what we got and they scan it and we're good to go. That's how it works over here with the fast loads. It's supposed to be a faster system, but there's still always a little bit of a lineup over here at Windsor anyways. Yep. But let's make our way towards Toronto. We are on the last little stretch of getting to our ter terminal. Yes, indeed we are. In we only got about... Turn left on Van Dinger Court. A little bit over a mile. About a mile and a half. To get to our terminal. Then we'll drop our trailer. Bobtail there over there to the fly and hook, get some fuel, and we'll go over to Master Steak. That's the plan, right? That's what I thought. I can't wait. Yeah, today has been one of those days where you don't really feel like driving a whole lot, but you know, still have that little energy in me. I want to go to Master Steak yet. Plus, we do want to take a reset tomorrow, so. And we got some awesome plans planned for tomorrow. At least as far as we know, it's gonna happen. So we'll see exactly what we will be all up to, but first we're gonna do this part. And then we wanna think about tomorrow, right? Oh man, these road, roads are rough up here. But anyways, we'll get out of here and uh, we'll try and show you Master Steak later later on alrighty guys we are parked here at the husky and where are we going to master stick master stick we're walking to master stick it's right over there guys right behind that truck over there yeah I know there's a guy parked there with the tractor and trailer but hey are we gonna go inside and get us a good bite to eat or what or what's the deal oh we're gonna get us something real good that's right we're gonna go get us some real good good stuff right well, you've been here before, right? Yep. Yeah, we kind of got to go down this narrow path or, well, we don't have to, but we are anyways. And there it is. There is Master Steak. I know it's a little wind out here. Oh, look at this nice Corvette over here. Yikes. Yeah, they do have a very nice Corvette over here. Look at that. Wow, eh? That's nice, eh? Yep. That's what I figured yeah so let's go and eat well guys let's take a look what do we got over here whoa that is a big steak don't you think so we got a salad we got a dinner roll he's got the same thing eh you got yourself a salad there oh yeah some rice 
just like me we always have rice let's get to eating alrighty guys we have had ourselves a very nice dinner I think yes indeed what do you think it was very good it was very good yeah there you go but anyways I think we are getting ready to uh, go to bed here pretty soon yes I think it is time for us to go have us a good sleep we don't have to get up uh, early tomorrow morning we can actually sleep in so let's get us a good night rest and then uh, we'll show you what we are up to tomorrow so I appreciate you guys uh, watching us today so hope you stick around for tomorrow's show we got something interesting planned so don't go nowhere We'll see you right here. I count on you to be right here tomorrow morning. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.